In a world filled with endless options, you only have one chance to live the life the way you want. It's not just about finding what makes you happy. It's about taking what you find and putting it into action. Jordan Marsh, Mike Gild, we're going to be chasing some walleyes along the weed lines with spinners. Typically when you're fishing spinners, you're either doing open water trolling with planer boards or you're doing bottom bouncers on a hard bottom or a mud bottom structure. We're going to teach you something a little bit different here, walleyes along the weed lines. Stay tuned, we're going to teach you how to do it here on Marsh Outdoors. First fish of the day, 12 feet, 12 feet of water. Ooh. That's a good fight. Ooh. Huh? All right, hold on, I'll put her in neutral for you. Oh. She get buried in the weeds? Might have. All right, I'm gonna throw the new motor in neutral. The average fish got wrapped in a little weeds. That's what made it feel a lot bigger. Coming up here. There's a lot of fighting this guy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, these in these weeds are real aggressive. Oh, I'm gonna wait. Hold on. There we go. There you go. There's a nice average eater-sized fish, Mike. First fish of the day. Not bad, huh? <laughs> nice fish. Average eater. Put them all back, they'll catch and release. That's right. Twelve feet of water. Actually just hit twelve coming out of like eleven, wasn't it? Yep. I can see the weed tops are just starting to come up. We're running to that weed line edge and right where those walleyes are hitting. We've missed two so far today. No, three, that's and that's the fourth hit we've had and Mikey caught that. They might be biting a little short right now, but we'll get them dialed in here, the speed and everything that we need. The exact depth we're gonna get them here. Fish on, Mikey. Well, didn't even get the cast out. <laughs> didn't even get the cast out, got another fish on. How's she feel? Oh, nice fish. This is such a great tactic. Running right along those weed lines. Catching those walleyes. Here she comes, Mike. Perch pattern walleye. Thanks, buddy. As you can see there, he's that one's hooked on that front hook. That is a good thing. When they're on the front hook, that means they're a little bit more aggressive. They're going after that blade and they're hitting that first hook. And they go after that back when you know they're a little bit more lethargic. Eating the crawlers, Marsh Outdoors TV, walleyes along the weed lines. Getting it done all day. Marsh loving. Another one, Mikey? Yeah, baby. I told you, you were right on the edge of those weeds. You were, yes. you were in the prime spot. As soon as you said that, too, smoked it. Another little guy. Average size Wisconsin walleye. Eh? That's right. You need me to net her? No, I'll grab her. Right. I'll grab her. Come on, bud. Just another little guy, but still fun catching him. 
You betcha there. I just missed one right before you caught one. Pretty color in them, isn't there? Yeah. I mean, I was saying that before on the way out here, too. The color on these fish out here, gorgeous. Throw them back. Get after it again. I got one. Now that's how the day should be going, huh? <laughs> Once we get on them, we're figuring out the speed a little bit more now. We're, we're realizing these walleyes are in 12 feet of water. Just switch blades to a more of a darker perch pattern, gold perch pattern. They aren't the biggest walleyes in the world. But man, do they fight, because they're aggressive. They're really in here actively feeding on these bait fish that are buried in these weeds. And they fight just, they got big hearts. Here he comes here. Nice solid fish though, that's a gorgeous fish. Oh yeah, beautiful walleye. Hooked right there in the corner of the mouth. No, Mike, yeah, I don't know. There's not many, there's not a walleye that isn't beautiful. <laughs> but. And this is the truth. This nice, solid, thick fish, hooked right in the corner of the mouth, they're eating good. Pretty thick for the size fish they are. Back to release. Here we go. Gotta love it. Spinner rig walleyes. We're getting them one after the other right now. This is uh, this is a lot of fun, and it's an effective tactic, and it's a good way to find your active feeding fish. You know, when you're out here running these weed lines, you're doing it a little bit different than if you're gonna do a bottom bounce or an open water spinner. A lot of times for speed, you're going anywhere from 0.8 to maybe 1.2. When I'm doing this weed lines, we're looking for the active aggressive fish. So we're bumping up our speed a little bit more. I like to go in from 1.3 to 1.6 miles an hour. Today we're finding the key is about 1.5 is where we're catching our fish in 12 feet of water. What do you think? Good shot, Mikey. Good fish? Yeah. Net worthy? No. Let's we'll see when it gets a little closer here. I think it's just a, one of those fish. Nothing too monstrous. A lot of fish loaded up in these weeds. They're in here feeding on that bait fish. Here we go. Northwest Wisconsin, catching walleyes. One after the other, marsh loving for them. Nice color. And we release them all. Get down there. Now I'm gonna get me another one. There we go, Mike. There we go. Better fish? Yeah, this has come out of a little bit deeper water, so I'm thinking this might be a little bit better. Oof. Ooh. I miss just, missed, just missed our double. He's trying to get away from us, but we are going to show him the inside of this boat. There's a nice fish. That is a nice fish. What's the net? Close to a 20, 18, 20 inch right here. Oof. There we go. Mike just missed the double. Nice fish. Probably about 18 inches. Solid. Rebait that crawler up and get it right back out there because we're on them. There you go, Mike. Nice feeling one? Yeah, average. Had to feed that one a little longer, I saw. Yeah. You couldn't really tell if it was there at first. It, uh, it hit it, it hit it, and then it stopped. And I felt no weight and then set the hook on it, and there she was. Ooh. Probably buried in these weeds, huh? I don't know, it's a little deeper water, so. I don't that thing think so. hit hard, too. Hit hard? Very hard. Sometimes that deeper water, you can get some of those nicer fish. They'll be buried right in these weeds, too, but I think you were on the outside turn. And they're straight down, that's a good thing. Now, this is where you gotta hope. I don't know if that's a walleye I or a don't, pike, but I can't tell. whatever it is, it's good sized. I think it's the right species, but I could, oh yeah, oh, look baby. at that. 
just the way it's going. This is a big fish, Mike. This is what we're looking for, buddy. Buried in these weeds. You get him up here because he's not hooked real well. I'll get him for you. Oh, turn his turn his head for me and there we yeah, go. Yeah, baby. Look at that fish, buddy, right there. Look at this. Buried in those weeds. Hit that thing like a ton of bricks. 12 feet of water. Oh, Mike. <laughs> Look at that walleye, folks, on a Jolly Roger spinner rig. Marsh Outdoors TV. Take your fish. That's, that's in the upper 20s, buddy. That is a beautiful <sighs> northwest Wisconsin walleye. Wow, that hook's buried in there, too. We had just switched blades for you, too. Remember? Yep, we, were, yep, yep. we were saying we should switch colors and wow how about that folks now that's a walleye baby Mike Annie and I have been fishing I've been fishing out here for the past six days straight we've been getting a few of these walleyes every day there's a lot of small fish in here your eater sized fish but you can also get your nice nice size thick fish buried in the weeds 12 feet of water these fish sunshine day almost no wind let's get the tape on her and we're gonna get her back in the water quick. I'm gonna put this fish back in the water. It's a great spawn fish for next year and hopefully uh, get a little bit bigger and can catch her again eventually. <laughs> That's a nice fish though. Nice job Mike. Woo! That's a stud fish right there buddy. That is awesome. That gets me excited every time. I, we catch a lot of big walleyes throughout the year but God on those open spinny face tackle Real rod and reel combos, it is fun. Second biggest fish I've ever caught in my life. Really? The biggest in open water. Nice, well congratulations. Let's get back down there and we'll try and get you another one of those on Marsh Outdoors TV. Hit it hard too. Good. I just got my bluegill off. We're sitting in uh, 12, 13 feet of water and we're getting lots and lots of walleyes. And it's a bright sunny day. We barely have any ripples on the water. Just goes to show you these, these fish will be in there because they're the bait fish. There you go, Mike. Spinner blade's looking to get a little hotter. Caught that big one on there and then another one right after. Yeah. Another nice average walleye. Eh? Good eaters though. Yeah, they are. People can come up and catch these fish to eat, but we'll let them go for them so they can come out here and catch them. You know, when doing this trolling, if our weed line comes out to 11 or 12 feet, we want to be running our blades right on the very edge of that. The reason being is these walleyes are in here chasing the bait fish. You know, a lot of people think that walleyes are sticking to your hard bottom areas, your rocks, your rubble, your sand, sometimes out in mud flats, uh, chasing bugs and things like that. But, you know, the reality of it is there's a lot of walleyes that sit in these weeds. And the reason being is these bait fish are in here, and wherever there's bait fish, you're gonna find walleyes. If you look on tops of these weeds, a lot of times you'll see these little bait fish that are jumping out of the water, a lot of perch. Sometimes you'll catch a small perch on your rigs, and that's exactly why they're in here. They're in there eating that bait fish. Next time you're thinking of a new tactic, try the weed lines. I think you're gonna be really effective catching some fish. All right, one of the easiest things that i found how to get your bait to the desired depth is, is basically just cast it out there a little bit, and you give it two pumps, let it take a little line, give it two pumps, shut your bail, and it will actually sink right to where the depth that you want, and then that spinner kicks in, and it's, and you're right there. I mean, we're catching all our fish in 12, 13 feet of water, and that, that'll run right about six to eight feet, and they hammer it right there. That's the nice thing about these spinner blades. You can catch your eater-sized fish all day long, and you can also pop big fish in every size in between. I was hoping we would have had a double right there, though. Yeah, that would have been nice. There you go. You know what, it's that, it's that same color. It's that copper and orange we're catching them on. 
you know, a lot of days it, it doesn't make a difference, but today it's really seeming to matter. Catch these size all day, getting a couple big bonus fish though. That's catch fun, a, isn't it, Mike? Catching big walleyes and large numbers of walleyes. Nice job, man. There we go. Just move spots. And I literally had the bait down there for no more than 15 seconds. Just goes to show you several different spots around those, these lakes with nice cabbage weeds. Anytime there's weeds in lakes, you can catch these fish, but the, the best thing to look for is these cabbage weeds. We'll grab some out of here in a little bit and show you what those weeds look like, but find those weeds, there's gonna be walleyes in there. And I just hooked into another one. Doubled up, Mike? Yep. Nice walleye. Good size here. Beautiful fish. Mike's got one on at the same time. Sometimes it pays to, to switch spots. I'm gonna I'm gonna get this walleye back in the water though. Don't want to keep him out too long. Mike's got his on. All right, Mike, I'll get the net for you. Just released mine there. Two at a time, that's how we like it. Here he comes. Gold out of that clear water. There we go, buddy. Nice fish. You know you're on him. When you catch two at a time. Oh, you buried him. He was hungry, <laughs> wasn't he? Two at a time along those weeds. I can help you out here. Okay, man? Yeah. Can't beat that. Put her back. You know, this weed line trolling for walleyes is very effective all throughout the summer. Probably the best time to do it, though, is that earlier on when the water temperature is, oh, hold on a second here. Let me catch this fish here. Very effective. Ooh. Got some shoulders. Wow. Yeah, I got some shoulders on this one. I'm gonna keep you rolling here. I'll get back to my tip as soon as this fish gets in here. Nice fish, Mike. Look at this one. Yeah. Oh. Beautiful walleye. Look at that. Nice fish. Gotta love it. Out of this golden, these golden walleyes out of this clear water. Along the weed beds, eating those bait fish. Today the they're eating the spinner rigs. Marsh love and get her back. All right, like I was saying before, I got interrupted by the walleye, which is a good interruption. But anyways, the key time to do this spinner rig fish, and you can do it all summer long, but when you're going along these weeds, a, a really good time is when those weeds are just starting to grow up. Your 63 to 65 degree water temp, anywhere into your 70s. A lot of your bass and bluegills are in the shallows, so your walleyes are cruising those, those weed lines for the young bait fish, and they don't have much competition, and they're in there a lot. So, because like I said, a lot of these blades are actually going above the weeds and through the weeds. And when you get later on into the summer, those weeds are so thick, you're gonna have to bump out on the, on the farther skirts of those weed lines so you're not getting tangled up in those weeds. So the key water temperature, 63 to 70 degree water temps, those cabbage weeds are the best. And you're gonna catch these spinner rig walleyes. Oh, I just set the hook. Mike, you're gonna have to reel in because this- I'm already one step ahead of you. Whatever this is is a big fish. And it hit it what felt like going the opposite direction. It's a big fish to begin with. Nothing against this fish, but <clears throat> it hit it going the other way and it took line immediately. But it has got weight and a lot of weight. We'll see when it gets a little closer. I'm gonna loose my drag because I think it's gonna run once it gets closer here. I wanna keep us out of these weeds. So it can't bury in those. You line up, Mikey? Yeah. All right. This is a good fish, folks. I'm telling you that much. My rod is just bury. He's doing, he's trying to stay deep, so I'm guessing it's a walleye. Mike, you might need to come to this other side of me here. Staying straight down, folks. Oh. Cut the motor. Here it comes, big walleye, oh, Mike. Baby. Big walleye. Oh, folks, 
Here it comes. This is a nice walleye. Oh boy. Here he comes, Mikey. Get him the yeah, oh, baby. oh, look at that fish. Holy shnikey. Second pig of the day. That is the second, like Mike said, the second big one. And that one is a toad. Look <laughs> at the size of that <laughs> fish, folks. Oh my gosh. If you don't think this one's gonna get marsh loving, something's wrong with it, because you know it, baby. Marsh loving. And you know what we like to do with these big toad hoss mamas? We give them a double tap of marsh loving. Holy, I mean, I set the hook on that thing and immediately. And you know what that means? It was a little bit suspended. This guy wasn't coming off at all. He's got both hooks. He took it, he took it deep. I should say, she did. This is a nice female walleye. Look at that fish. Suspended in about 14 feet of water. As our spinners are only going down about eight feet. She must have come up, smacked it, and wanted to go right back to the bottom. We're gonna get her back into the water. Beautiful fish. There she goes, the old tail splash. She soaked me. <laughs> That's all right. God, I love walleye. That's all I had to say. I just, I tell you what, you never can get sick of catching big walleyes. Oh, so much fun. I was dead filming because it's good to. There you go, Mikey. How's that one? Oh, little little shoulder store. It's been a fun day on the water, hasn't it, Mike? It really has. A lot of fish. A lot of fish, a couple big pigs. Hey, I tell you what, <laughs> we're gonna end the day on a double, that's what I know. We are gonna end the day on double walleyes. Doing a good job, Mike. There we go. Oh, That's a baby. good way to end the show, huh, buddy? That really is. Look at this. Mike, yours is a little <laughs> bit bigger than mine. But I tell you what, we have had one heck of a day on the water. There we go, folks. Mike's fish is bigger than mine, but as you can see, variety of fish we've caught today. It's been a great day on the water. Thanks for coming out, Mikey. What do you think of this tactic? Well, I'm probably going to take this home and use it a lot after catching the fish that we caught today. It's very effective, so. Folks, if you're looking for a new tactic to catch some walleyes in the summer, use these spinner rigs along the weed lines and I guarantee you, you'll catch some fish. Mike, thanks for coming. Folks, remember, introduce someone new to the outdoors. They'll appreciate it for a lifetime. Mike Guild and your host, Jordan Marsh. Thanks for watching on Marsh Outdoors TV.